so i'm back again with another you know economic calendar weekly update okay so this uh this war that is going on you know it's actually it's, it's bad it's bad it's bad okay i won't get into much details because you know uh, i don't want to seem that i'm on one side or another because i actually don't understand the dynamics on both sides okay so that's why you can see a lot of commodities here taking a lot of suffering okay so this is so these are major commodities and if you can if you can see here this is gold okay and gold has is almost uh touching 2000 i expect actually gold to touch 2000 before wednesday okay personally that's what i th those are my predictions because of the ongoing uh war that is there even bitcoin you've seen bitcoin rally from 24,000 now it's at 30,000 heading to 31,000 okay so i expect some some movement in safe haven assets okay so apart from commodities let me educate you or let me tell you not not educate let me tell you what is going to be happening in the market this week the major economic events to look out for this week and this week is going to be full of central banks readings okay so on monday we don't have any major news that doesn't mean there isn't news but there is no major economic news on monday so the holiday in the market still continues on tuesday we have G uh, the pound the pound is actually we are going to be seeing uh, services pmi and manufacturing pmi for the british side okay so britain is mostly a service industry so we are going to be looking out more for on services pmi then we are going to be having us manufacturing pmi on the same day okay so you uh, us is you definitely know uh, us is a manufacturing powerhouse it's not as strong as china but it's also a manufacturing powerhouse okay it relies on manufacturing to get to get its income so that is on tuesday on wednesday we have the bank of canada interest rate decision so inflation is actually stagnant at the moment i think now we're entering the phase of holding interest rates for quite some time okay so we're entering the phase of actually holding interest rates for quite some time so I don't expect any interest rate hikes here on the Bank of Canada. Then on the same day, we will have Jerome Powell speaking, okay? The chairman of the Federal Reserve is going to be speaking on Wednesday. And my, are we going to see jitters in the market? So look out for this, okay? Look out for this uh, speech. Just go listen to his speech. Then on Thursday, we have the European Central Bank. The European Central Bank uh, is... Uh, its work is to check the, the the euro, not the pound. Okay, so the European countries, it's going to uh, the euro, uh, the European Central Bank is going to be having interest rate decision. So I trust me when I say that this is a season of actually maintaining interest rates. But for the European side, I see them increasing interest rate because the inflation is at six point seven percent. It is stagnant. It is not going anywhere, and the interest rate is at four point five percent. So if you ask me, they have probably two more interest rate hikes before they actually match the US, okay? So that is something to look at this week. So we might see some uh, some small, small strength in the euro before Thursday. Then on the same day, we have initial jobless claims. Now, the people filing for unemployment benefits in the US could actually trigger uh, either... A strong dollar or a weak dollar based on what jerome powell will say on wednesday so listen to his speech so that you can anticipate thursday's uh speech okay or uh, thursday's data on unemployment then on friday we have core pce and pce stands for personal consumption expenditure so if you are buying things so this is also another indicator for inflation okay so if people are not buying things if people are not putting their money to buy things to consume uh, to consume, uh, let's say for example, fuel, to consume food, all that, okay? So people have to consume, like your commute to work, you have to pay, that's expenditure. If you are paying mortgage, it's also an expenditure. If you are buying groceries from the store, that is still an expenditure. So expenditures do not stop at few things, okay? So on Friday we have this. So it is just another measure for inflation. Uh, I will explain this in details whenever i get the time but that is your economic calendar for this week it's going to be somehow of a busy week but you know as we enter the end of the month okay as we closely enter the end of the month we are going to be seeing a lot of uh, data coming out so the next week and the when is november by the way i think two weeks from now if i'm not mistaken or next week we are going to be seeing this cause 
next week i think on november 1st we'll be having the fed the fed is actually going to be announcing uh the interest rate decision for their for their side the us so keep an eye on all this okay and before i forget starting november 6th cohort number three the final cohort of the year we are going to be proceeding with our our cohort and uh, i would like you to join if you'd like to join us it's 12,500 for the classes we'll be dealing with technical fundamentals trading psychology and risk management and all that okay so join us if this doesn't make sense to you but you'd like it to make sense to you even more uh join the cohort for more information and with that allow me to end the video there as you enjoy the week bye